Okay, in this video, we are going to look into building a phase shifting circuit. Now, I built this phase shifter because I wanted to calibrate some phase detectors because some of the sensors that I was using, the data output was phase related. So you can see on my scope, I have two channels set up. One channel is monitoring the input to my phase shifter. Another channel is monitoring the output of my phase shifter. So if I turn the potentiometer on my circuit board, I could actually change the phase difference between the two signals. You can see here, I have total control from 0 degrees all the way up to 180 degrees. So I have total control of the phase angle of the two signals with my potentiometer. Now if we used a digital potentiometer, an IC potentiometer, we could actually control the phase angle of these two signals with a microcontroller. Okay, here's my phase shifter circuit on my breadboard, and it's fairly simple. It's powered by 10 volts. It only uses one transistor, the 2N2222, and the circuit is basically a common emitter circuit. You can see the four bias resistors. Now the load resistor, the top resistor, and the middle resistor are the same value, so the gain of the circuit is, is one. It's unity gain. Now the input is fed into here, into this uh, decoupling capacitor, and output is taken off the collector of the common emitter amplifier. Now if we take the signal off the emitter resistor, it will be in phase with the input, and if we take the signal off the collector resistor, the, the load resistor, the signal will be 180 degrees from the input. So if we combine them with this pot, this potentiometer and this capacitor, by combining the signal from uh, 0 degrees to 180, we could go anywhere in between for our output. So that's how the circuit works. It's fairly simple. So we'll, uh, we'll have a look at the schematic and we'll show you how, how it works on the schematic. Okay, here's the schematic diagram of the circuit that I built on my breadboard, my phase shifter. And you can see the heart of the circuit is, is one transistor. It's a 2N2222 and it's configured as a common emitter amplifier. You can see the four bias resistors and the load resistor is 2.2K and the middle resistor is 2.2K so that will make the, this gain of unity, so we'll have a, a unity gain amplifier so we'll have no amplification between the input and the output. Now the signal that we take off the emitter resistor will be in phase with the input and the signal that we take off the collector will be 180 degrees out of phase from the input. So we combine them through this RC network and we'll get our output through this 10 uh, microfarad capacitor. So as we vary this resistor will vary the output from 0 degrees to 180 degrees uh, through this, through this uh, RC network. So this RC network is, is frequency dependent, so the higher frequency you go, you'll have to change these components to match the frequency band that you're going to be working in. Now we could change this 5K pot out for a digital IC pot, and we could actually control the circuit using a microcontroller like Arduino Nano. So that's the circuit there. It's pretty simple if you want to build yourself your own phase shifter. Okay, for all you guys who have an analog scope, I'm going to show you how to measure the phase angle of the two signals using an analog scope. So on your analog scope, put one half cycle from the beginning over to nine divisions. So you use your unkel uh, knob on your horizontal control. So you can see how to vary it. So you put it on the ninth division. So that will make it 20 degrees per division on your scope. And each small division would be 5 degrees. So now as I move, as I change my phase, you can see right here, that'll be 20 degrees difference. Go to the next one, there's 40, there's 60, 80, 100. So even with an analog scope, we can measure the phase angle of the two signals by using our uncal knob on our horizontal control, setting it up for nine divisions, so each division is 20 degrees, and then we could just move our signal and we can measure it off off our divisions uh, directly. So if you guys don't have a digital scope, there's nothing wrong with a good analog scope if you're getting started in electronics. There's a lot of them out there and they're very inexpensive. So you could do a lot with an analog scope so you don't have to worry about uh, getting the, the best digital expensive scope that you see uh, being featured on some of the YouTube videos. Okay, now you know how this little phase shifter works. And you probably have all the parts in your parts bin to build one up quickly on a breadboard. So if you have any devices like phase detectors or any sensors that are phase related, then you can build this circuit up quickly and use it to calibrate uh, your phase detectors.